I am a typical Florentine, I believe. Florence is part of my life and is part of myself. I feel it here, you know, like I feel the king of Florence. Florence is such a special city. I travel a lot. I am, uh, I'm today here in Florence. Tomorrow maybe London. After tomorrow Paris, New York. New York is like a drug. It gives you, oh my God, such energy. But after, I need Florence. To walk in my city, to walk in the street, to start to watch all the old uh, palace, the building. You know, that kind of, uh, of a c civilization. Thirteen, fourteenth century. I can imagine Dante Alighieri, the Divine Comedy. You know, walking in such old street. To live in Florence means to breathe art. to drive on Florence, to see the Duomo, to see, look, that is one of the most beautiful church of Florence, look, that is San Mignato. San Mignato, that is fantastic. You know. Fashion is part of our life today. Fashion is something that since the day when you wake up in the morning, you say, what do I have to wear to look beautiful, fantastic, sexy, special? Florence helped me to judge what is beautiful. They say he That is the reason that I love really to be fashion designer because uh, because I can really to to measure your mood, your life. Anyway, I love to be fashion designer. What I love more about my city is the arch arch architecture. Yeah. I love uh, when I have time to walk. It's a small street. I like to stop uh, to watch high, to see the end, the roofs. Every time I discover something new, something different. You know, the call of the stones, for example. Take a helicopter to go high, 2,000 meters, 6,000 feet, and uh, to be there, to feel like a bird, fly like that, to, from there to see everything is small. <laughs> to see many, many, many things, many colors that they are confuse each other. But in this moment, I feel free. 
my creation is inspired from that kind of architecture. That kind of uh, call. It, you know, is a charm, so charming. Pitti Palace, uh, old bridge, uh, il Ponte Vecchio. <laughs> you know, all the fantastic statue, the David, the Michelangelo David. And uh, that is Florence, I love it. We are in the Café Giacosta. Look, very small. The people love it. Always full. Look, a lot of pictures of me in the world. You can see here all my fans. Look, it will be nice. David Beckham. There is uh, Jennifer Lopez. And when I decided to buy, because they offered me, it was on sale, Café Giacosta, I decided to take the corner where is my store now. All Florence, everybody complained because such old cafe should not be out. And after, when all the Florence started, say, oh, Roberto Cavalli, he took the most uh, famous cafe of Florence, you know. I felt so guilty, you know. And, oh my God, if I never would take some other designer, maybe Armani, maybe some other that would take. Because the people from Florence, they didn't understand. It's just because I'm Florentine, I say, okay, I will take the store close to my future Roberto Cavalli store, and I will, uh, I will make a new Café Giacosa. That is a new Café Giacosa. With the same cake, with the same patisserie, with the same... Uh, everything looked like it was before. And, you know, and now all the Florentine love very much. They come here to, to eat, to drink. It's always full. They love me now. Ciao. Okay, sure. Right. When I come here, oh my God, when I think uh, who I am, when I think who I was, and so on, such a difference. I grew up in Florence. I was born from a very, very simple family. And uh, I do a lot. I am quite uh, happy. I am proud. I don't love myself, but I admire myself. That is completely, completely cavalli, you know. very rich, very special. We use the best leather, the best quality. It's very important. Three pieces, one of the best three pieces from the last collection for the next summer. This kind of pieces you can see in the next month in Saint Tropez, in Sardinia, all over the world. The most beautiful woman. Talk about Florence, about personality of Florence is very hard because I have to speak about Florence as a city or the Florentine as a, as a people. But to be Florentine is very hard. When I, in New York, other cities say, where are you from Italy? Okay, oh, fantastic, Italy. And which city? Florence. I feel my heart is so proud of that. And I know that I have to bring that feeling around the world. And I feel that I, with my fashion, sometimes I feel that there has to be one special fa fashion if I want to represent a special city. I would like to show you or introduce you a little bit my family. She's my mommy, the biggest woman of my life. 
she painted one self-portrait and uh, with her cigarette. She used to smoke five cigarettes a day for all her life. <laughs> you know, she was, my God. With a woman with a lot of personality. That is my woman. One woman that loved to show how clever, how intelligent she is. You know, I believe that, I, I, I don't know, for me, woman is my, I love woman, you know. For me, I maybe, maybe I'm the only man in the world who says that the woman is stronger than the man. The woman has more personality than the man, really. Because, uh, you know, the woman is my muse. I am a typical Florentine, I believe. I'm a crazy artist. <laughs>